The Bayside Trail homeless encampment is now gone, but what remains are the questions of where its former residents are now going to go and how much more difficult it will be to assist them. It's very weird. It's very heavy. It's, it's heartbreaking to see um, such an empty space. The heartbreaking part for Mary Cook, the senior director of Opportunity Alliance's PATH homeless outreach program, is knowing that the people who used to fill the space, which was once the Bayside encampment, are now scattered throughout Portland. It's harder to um, connect with people. We don't know where everyone relocated to. Now it's um, kind of a wild goose chase of trying to track people down. Cook says this poses a danger to the homeless population with services now out of reach. People are at a higher risk of overdose after an encampment removal. There definitely is a lack of community that if someone did overdose that there's someone right close by that can respond. City officials had cited health and safety concerns for the homeless and surrounding businesses as the reason for yesterday removal of the encampment. But Cook says the city's inaction on providing resources was the real problem. There were real tangible ways to solve those by providing trash cans and trash removal, bathrooms and showers. Those health and safety concerns are going to follow people to encampments because they still don't have the means to, to solve for that. While the homeless population is separate for now, Cook says it's only a matter of time before that changes once again. The issue of having a large encampment space um, is just cleared out one spot, but there, another spot will inevitably pop back up without the right resources in place. Cook says that Opportunity Alliance has already have found a number of locations of where the former encampment residents are now living, but she says that it's very likely that in just a few weeks, a new encampment could be popping up in the city of Portland, not unlike what we saw here. In Portland, I'm James Cargan with Maine's Total Coverage.